everyone welcome back to another video so today we're going to do a flip through and review of Hannah Carlson's Tales from the Forest Kingdom this book was just released to us in the US on August 31st so I'm so excited that I finally have it most of you that have been watching my channel for quite some time you know that usually I take like six or seven books put them all in one video and do a haul flip through and review on all of those books all at one time. But I've had so many people request a flip through for this book and I thought that this book was just a little bit extra special. <laughs> and so I wanted to put just this book in one video and that is what we're going to do today. If you check the description box below, you will find links down there for my Facebook group. I would love to have you join us over there. It's a wonderful supportive community and everyone is welcome. I also have links down there for my email list as well as my Etsy store and my Patreon if you would like to support me there. Let's go ahead and take a look at this book. As with all Hannah Carlson's books, the front cover is absolutely beautiful. It's got a beautiful background color and most of them have either the gold or the silver foiling on top of that so that it really stands out. All of her books I find to be really, really beautiful. This book here was released on August 31st and so it's only been out for about a week. And if you go on Amazon, you can grab it now for only $13.49. When I ordered my book, it said that I would not receive it until September 16th. And it even said that it was not in stock, but it said in stock soon. So I went ahead and I ordered it and I actually received it after five days. So I was pretty excited that I received it so quickly. So if you go on Amazon and you look at the date and it says that you're not gonna receive the book for a little while, I would not worry about that because you'll probably receive it a lot quicker than what it actually says. Right now on Amazon, it says that the book is available in one to two days and that you wouldn't receive it until Wednesday, September 15th, but I'm pretty sure that you'll probably receive it a lot sooner than that. So what I love about the Hannah Carlson books is that they are hardcover and so they will last for a very long time. You don't have to worry about the cover getting bent up or anything like that. Now, I will say when mine came to me, it did have a couple little, like right here, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's a little bit dented right there and a little bit dented right here. I don't know yet if I'm gonna contact Amazon and let them know. I'm sure that if I do, I won't have a problem. They always have wonderful customer service. So as far as the size of this newer book, it is going to be the same of Midnight Masquerade, those of you that have this one. They were a little bit smaller than her previous books, and they're also a little bit thinner than her previous books as well. But I really like the smaller ones because there's less on the page to color, and so if you want to just sit down and color something and get it done quicker, you are able to do that. So here is Jewelry Box, which is one of Hannah Carlson's older books. And you can see if I put these right up next to each other that this one is going to be a little bit taller, but not by that much, just a very tiny bit as far as the length. But if I lay this one on top of this one, you can see that it is quite a bit smaller. I would say, what, about an inch? So yeah, it is quite a bit smaller as far as how wide it is. So if I look at it this way and the width of the spine, and I turn both of these like this, you can see that this one is quite a bit thicker as well. So you're getting more coloring pages in these books and a little bit less coloring pages in the newer books. The front cover just says Tales from the Forest Kingdom. Again, like I said, it's got this beautiful gold embossing on this one and beautiful artwork. It says coloring book illustrated by Hannah Carlson. And then if you turn it over to the back, it says, Welcome to a Magical Forest Kingdom. Spend a whole day from misty sunrise to starry night, lost among the lush trees, mystical plants, and forest lakes. While you're there, meet the imaginative inhabitants living in this enchanted wood. Hannah Carlson is an Umel Sweden-based illustrator who specializes in detailed India ink drawings and finds inspiration from her outdoor surroundings in the north. Hannah's best-selling coloring book 
books, Daydreams, Summer Nights, Magical Dawn, Seasons, Jewelry Box, Spirit Animals, and Tales from the Midnight Masquerade continue to capture the imagination of artists and coloring book enthusiasts worldwide. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the book. The front cover is going to be black on the inside, and then you've got this just blank page here. And then we get into the book. Of course, it says Tales from the Forest Kingdom, Hannah Carlson. It has a little something here that you can color. And then it has the publisher, Gib Smith. Now, all of her books are um, by Gib Smith. And a lot of times, like when I couldn't find Midnight Masquerade, I actually contacted the publisher and I was able to order my books from there. And they even offered me a discount. So if you can't ever find one of her books on Amazon, you could always contact the publisher and they are so super nice and accommodating. So I've got my title page here, this book belongs to, and the paper, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the paper. Now the paper in these Hannah Carlson books, it's all the same. So it's not a white, white paper. It's definitely not a bright white. It is more of an off-white color. Okay, so right on the first page, I'm already getting such happy vibes. <laughs> Y'all have to let me know what you think of this book down in the comments. And please, as I flip through this and you find what you feel like is your favorite page in this book, comment down below and let me know what your favorite page is. But I just love the fairies. Is this a little bit different for Hannah Carlson? I think it is. The mushrooms are not. But this page here, I love this. And I was actually, I have not flipped through this entire book yet, but I opened it up to this first page and I saw this and I was like instantly like, oh my gosh, I have to color that. I love the flower around her eye and the flowers on her face. I think that is so super cool. Okay, so here we have some butterflies and then we have a really cool house that actually has mushrooms coming out of it and then we've got lots of flowers all around here. This looks like just our you know Hannah Carlson artwork that we've all come to love. Here we have a girl and then look how cute this is. <laughs> Look at this little guy sitting here resting up against this mushroom. Oh, wow. And then here, what is she like? Maybe a queen or something. And I love how she's doing. She did it on the previous page, if you saw that. But they have like this circle around them. And you could do something really cool with this circle. Where? Let me see the other one here. I know y'all love for me to give you ideas on how to color these pages as I do these flip throughs. But this one too is the same way. But if I were coloring this, I would do a background with pastels or something and do the background here and here matching. But then I would do something with this, like maybe color it gold and really make it stand out and pop. And then over here we have one of her bugs. And that is really cool because I've seen a lot of her bugs, but they are much smaller. So this one just takes up most of the page. And this right here is the coolest ever. This double page spread. Oh my goodness. This looks like it could either be a double page spread or you can color each one of the pages individually. So I guess if you wanted to color one half, it could be just an individual picture you colored and then come back and color this one at a later date. Because I know a lot of times when it comes to a double page spread, I get really tired. I've actually never colored a double page spread because by the time I color one side, I'm already kind of burnt out on whatever it was I, col I was coloring and I want to go to something else. <laughs> so we have more fairies. And then here, one of her famous bottles, potion bottles. I love her potion bottles. If you have not already seen or followed the color along. I actually have a color along on my channel where we did lots of bottles and there were lots of tutorials. I showed you exactly how to create liquid spilling out of a bottle and how to actually draw the liquid in the bottle and create bubbles. It was a really, really cool tutorial or color along. It was a color along and then there was a tutorial for every single part of it. So it was a lot of fun and I'll link that in the upper right hand corner so that you can find that, but I believe that it was in Magical Dawn. Here we've got some leaves, and then one of her famous very different men. <laughs> 
Uh, <laughs> I have never colored any of those. I have certain um, things from Hannah Carlson that I really, really like, and then other things that I would probably not color, and I think a lot of us are like that. When we purchase a book, we'll see like a couple things that we would love to color, and then we will see other things that we know that we probably will never color. And I've also been in the situation where I purchased a book because of a certain page or a few certain pages that I really wanted to color and there was something in there that I thought that I wouldn't color and I actually came back and decided I think I want to color this. <laughs> You'll have to tell me how many of you have done that before. I think it might have to do with just really finding a love for the artwork by certain artists and then so then you just want to color in their style and a lot of their different ideas that they have put together in the book. So there's quite a few portraits in here but there's also this is like a real big mixture of things that looks like this is very very fantasy like and mystical mythical <laughs> But we've got another fairy here. I love all the fairies in this book. I don't remember another one of her books having this many fairies in them. Of course, I remember the bunnies in a lot of her other books. I love her artwork when it comes to bunnies. And if you have other Hannah Carlson books, you know that her artwork is very different. There's a lot of artists that you may look through their books and it will remind you of another artist. But Hannah Carlson is one that you will look through her books and you instantly know that it is Hannah Carlson's artwork. Like if you are on Facebook and you see people sharing um, their their uh, coloring pages, you can look at it even before reading the description and know that it is Hannah Carlson artwork. Now this right here, this is absolutely beautiful. Look at this unicorn. Wow, that's gorgeous. And this is a double page spread. Of course, again, if you wanted to color each one of them separately as an own individual page, you could do that. You could even maybe do this one and pick a color palette for it and then come over here and pick a completely different color palette for this one and color it two ways because it looks like this one is just reversed from this one and then this one just has the horse where it is a little bit closer to you and then this one is further away and then here we have what looks to be a wizard and I did mention earlier that I tested out a few pencils in this book and so I want to tell you which pencils work best in her books. Wow, this is very different. <laughs> I did mention earlier that I tested out a few pencils in this book, and so I want to tell you which pencils work best in her books. Wow, this is very different. <laughs> so as far as pencils, I grabbed another one of my older Hannah Carlson books, and I tested out a few of my pencils. I tested out the Luminance and the Black Widows and the 120 Mark Arts, and my Prismacolors, I already know um, how they work in this book. So, because of course I did an entire color along with the Prismacolors, and that's all I've really ever used in these books. But the Prismacolors work beautifully in these books. The paper in these books, it has a little bit of tooth, but not a lot. Now, I really think it's on the smoother side. The paper is very different, I think, from a lot of other books that I have because even like compared to the Maria Trolle books, the Maria Trolle books have a lot more tooth. I'm only comparing them to the Maria Trolle books because her books are also available on Amazon. We can get them in the US and they are hardback just like these. So those would be the most comparable as far as you know price and how the books come. The paper though inside the books is very different because this one has a lot less tooth than the Maria Trolley book so different pencils are going to perform differently in these books. The Mark Art they were okay in this book. They did blend together pretty well and they laid down pretty well but when I wanted to lay down more layers, it wouldn't allow me to lay down more layers. Now, those of you that like to just color and you're not worried about making sure you can lay down a whole lot of layers and get all that extra depth and dimension and everything, my coloring style may be much different. You may like the Mark Arts on this paper in this book. And then I grabbed my Luminance pencils. And my Luminance pencils, 
I wanted to test out one artist grade pencil because I know a lot of you do have those pencils. So my Luminance pencils, they performed okay in here. I wasn't really crazy about how they lay down on this paper. And then I pulled out my Black Widows. <laughs> Black Widows and this paper are like a paper pencil dream match. So if you have Black Widows, grab your Black Widows and start coloring in some Hannah Carlson books. I love looking through new books. I like to give you all a lot of commentary and a lot of my thoughts. I know you all appreciate that. So I hope it wasn't too chatty, but I like to do my flip throughs a little bit different. And I like to let you all, you know, give you some ideas of what you could do on some of the different pages like I do with all of my flip throughs. Talk about the pencils and you know let you know what works best in each one of the books because I think that's really important because you can go and purchase a set of pencils try them on one book or one type of paper and really think that you hate those pencils but I want to encourage you to pull out another book or different paper or something and test those same pencils on different paper because if you do, you're gonna find the perfect pencil paper match because every single one of those sets of budget pencils, some of them you may have ordered that you have sitting in a corner somewhere, go and grab those and try them in some of your different books and you will find that you may start pulling them out a lot more because you may find that you found a paper that they work really well in and I actually have a video coming where I am testing the 120 square brute funer on three different papers, two coloring books and my favorite paper. So that video is coming, so look for that. I'm going to try to get this one up today. I hope you enjoyed this flip through, and I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring! Bye!